Well, good afternoon, everyone. We're watching the showers and thunderstorms that have developed out to the west. And right now, the way the system's coming in, it's really beginning to weaken. So our threat for severe weather, fairly low, but not zero. And I want to stress that. We could see a few strong wind gusts, 40 to 50 miles an hour, overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. But even the rain right now does not look as significant as it looked earlier in the week. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Right now we have the rain beginning to move in from the west, but the leading edge of this right across the state line, now keep in mind this is a composite image here. And what's happening is other radar information is overshooting this as some of this is actually evaporating before it hits the ground because the air is so dry. So what's going to happen later on tonight, you see the rain towards Jackson and into Louisiana, all of that's tracking our way. So the rain becoming likely after 8 o'clock tonight, and I think it's going to rain all night long, even some rumbles of thunder and some strong gusty winds, and that'll be with you on your drive to work. So here's that chance of rain this evening. Around 5 o'clock, we'll go 20%, 30% at 7, up to 40% at 9, and then it really increases around 11 o'clock and through the overnight hours tonight. So here's that forecast for the threat for severe weather. Very low. The only threat we really have is some strong gusty winds and of course some flash flooding a possibility, especially with the next system. That's coming in Thursday and it is really looking like a heavy rain producer. Here's your forecast this evening though, hour by hour. Temperatures notice they hold in the 60s and we will be in the 60s for the rest of the night. Latest forecast coming up at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. See you then.